I want to talk to you a little bit about what's so fascinating about these herbs. And that's one of the things most people, when they come to the Herb Fest, they do enjoy is finding out how do you use herbs. Well, this happens to be February when we were filming this, and a couple of things I wanted to show you. I just pulled this off this morning uh, as, as I drove, dropped my two girls off at school. This is one of the rosemaries. Uh, this one, I think, is the Blue Spire variety. But you can see the little flowers. Folks, we're in February. That's the nice thing about the, the rosemary is the flowers. And you will actually, depending on the variety, you'll get from two to five blooms per year, periods of time in which it blooms. And most of them are generally this type of blue or purple, but they're very pretty. But that's one of the nice things. You can always smell rosemary. It is wonderful. Other thing with rosemary, I'll just show you one of the ways you would use rosemary. If you were having a wedding, whoop, why would you strew rice? Because rosemary is the herb of remembrance. And you need to remember your wedding vows. So when you go through the wedding, instead of strewing herbs, instead of strewing rice, they strew rosemary. And then when you step on it, you get this really nice fragrance. Now, for many people, you wouldn't take this right now and throw it away. When you're out in your yard, you would take the leaves, you would put them in a little bulb jar, put hot water in them, put it in the refrigerator, and let the rosemary leaves steep for a couple of days. Pull it out, strain it, mix it in your shampoo, especially if you're a brunette. Or if you have dogs and cats, one of the things you can do is make a spritzer with that and just sort of spray them. Not only does it add sheen to their coat, it also is a flea tech repellent. And that's beneficial for the plant. For those with brunette hair and very high and expensive uh, shampoos, you actually find rosemary oil because what happens is the rosemary itself adds a sheen to the hair and it makes your hair look so much more luxurious. When you finish that, see this little branch we have here? Perfect skewer. Take your beef, take your lamb, put it on here, make a skewer out of it, go cook as you cook and it heats up. The oils actually from that, from this part of the rosemary, go into the meat. That's how you impart the flavor of rosemary into the meat. It's a heat thing with the oil. But as a skewer, it's captured inside the meat. Other things you can do with rosemary, sometimes you can just put this down on the grill, put whatever your fish is on top of it, heat's coming up, oils go in it. Just a typical way you use herbs. Other thing I want to show you, this is bay. Now, and there's bukus of bays. The bay that we eat or use for cooking is called lar nobilis. Now, the interesting thing, noble. Do you remember looking in the little Greek and Roman things where you would see the little wreath? Where's the top of my head? Right there. there it is. Where's my hat? Put it up there and they'd have this little bow around them or little crown. That was lar nobilis. And that used to be a sign of nobility, was they were the only ones that could actually have this plant. But one of the nice things about this plant, and I'll tell you, what if, and a lot of people refer to this as sweet bay. What happens with this, if you've ever had dry bay, you forever give it up. This stuff, fresh, is one of the few herbs that is absolutely dramatic. But what happens with this is you can take off the leaf, take a chicken breast, stick this in between the skin chicken breast, put it in the oven. Notice how I invert. You're always trying to get what has the oils, heat coming up into the meat. But that's another way you use this. This is Bay, which is very popular and it's hardy in zone sevens and eights, nines, and so forth. Right on down, you can have it all year. Two of the herbs you'll find interesting. There is a place where you can go, learn something new, and always stop to say hello. Walk through the trees, enjoy the scene, watch us grow.